In today's video, I wanna talk about the five do's and don'ts that you guys should keep in mind when you guys are doing your Google Slides or PowerPoint presentations. So that way you can keep them engaging, professional, and also very, very clean and minimalistic in order to stand out amongst your peers and just deliver an amazing presentation. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. The first do I have is to keep it visually appealing. Now you can do so by using high quality images to enhance your message. Try to avoid small pixelated images where if you rescale them, it's just gonna be really blurry and pixelated, but try to look for a high quality image source online where you could actually just rescale it into full size and it would have no problem so that way it doesn't blur up or it doesn't scale weird when you're projecting it on a projector or on a big screen you should also incorporate consistent colors and fonts to make it look very clean and opposed to everything just being very very cluttered and just you know very sporadic in colors right the don't i want to point out is don't overcrowd your slides now even though i mentioned use high quality images make sure you don't use too many images in your powerpoint presentation or google slides presentation to the point where the audience doesn't even know where to look at or what's even going on anymore you want to be able to maintain a clear and uncluttered layout to make sure that the audience could easily follow along from slide to slide rather than having too many things and just having your audience's eyes just jumble everywhere all at once right the second do i have is to use concise and clear text limit the amount of text that you put in every slide uh, and don't put too much to read right audiences don't want to read too much so make sure you just chop it up into bullet points and maybe just spice it up a little bit right you want to just add little backgrounds add little underlines and little accent lines here and there to make Make it look clean and professional and again it's very important to use bullet points instead of long paragraphs like i said because using bullet points is very easy for our audiences to read and just keep their eyes on the side rather than having a long paragraph where people are just going to doze off because it's just way too long to read right a don't that i want to mention is don't use small fonts always use fonts that are legible and always use fonts that are easy to scale and easy to read i know that sometimes you want to have a very very minimalistic and aesthetic slide with cursive fonts perhaps or blocky fonts just to make it look cool right but just stay clear of that just try to stay minimalistic get a clear font size perhaps maybe 16 point font or, or higher because any smaller than that no one's gonna you know bat an eye to read it and squint really far away to read that so just make sure that you keep a good font size at least 16 point font or higher for your bullet points and your writing the third do i have is to maintain a clear logical structure now this means always splitting up the slides depending on you know your structure of your presentation right maybe the first one could be intro it could be a first point second point conclusion a reference instead of combining like two different points or three different points all at once in one slide just so that way it keeps a very nice structure and a very nice flow in any case that the audience has any questions or something comes up within a slide you won't get into the second point until later on when you hit next right make sure you use big bold headings and subheadings to also guide your audience through your presentation just so they can follow along and go from top to bottom or left to right depending on how you format your presentation a don't that i want to mention here is don't use clashing colors right you, sure you may have big text sure you may have legible text but don't have clashing colors where it's very hard to see something in the background and it's you know very hard to distinguish what's in the background and what's in the foreground and again it's really really important that you control the opacity of the background as well as making sure that the colors contrast right again it really just gives off an unprofessional vibes if you use colors that are really hard to read and really hard to blend together in opposed to actually knowing your color theory a little bit where you could research online on what color schemes look better i personally use the website color hunt myself but but again, you could look at other color schemes where co colors contrast and they actually complement each other to make it easy for your audience to read and follow along. The fourth do is to utilize multimedia elements. Now, what does this mean? You can include videos, you can include audio clips, right? You can include GIFs, images, icons, whatever it may be to make your presentation look more visually appealing. Make sure you use these elements strategically to emphasize your key points. So, so place them in places where they're relevant, right? If someone's saying a quote and there's an audio clip of it, play it when your slide of the quote is playing. Or you wanna play the sounds of an ocean to demonstrate the waves because you're presenting about a beach right and a very important don't is don't put on too many excess animations now I know everybody gets hyped on animations and we're all like okay we could animate this we could get that transition going this going sometimes too much animations is just not good right again it leaves your presentation very very unprofessional because these presentations are supposed to get the point across right you're not supposed to make every single text spin make this thing spin flip or do all these crazy entrances just make some nice smooth animations if you really want to and just don't overuse it, right use it on special parts of the presentation where you where something is supposed to be revealed or a nice transition is supposed to happen don't always use it on every single slide or on every single text piece now number five is obviously do practice and rehearse your presentation just to make sure that everything goes well and smoothly like i said sometimes when you project to a different projector or different aspect ratio of a screen things may not pop up the right way or things may not pop up the way you want it to right some scaling might be off maybe the arrows are a little bit in different sizes the little shapes and elements that you added are in different 
different sizes. So make sure you practice, rehearse, and most importantly, make sure you try out your presentation on the computer that you're going to present at along with the projector as well. Don't forget to also look at the timing of your presentation. Make sure the timing works, make sure all the animation works, and just make sure everything works in general, just so that way when you're presenting, you're not surprised if anything doesn't work or you've already fixed that issue if something wasn't working. Because I know that there's a lot of incompatibility versions. Now, this doesn't happen a lot with Google Slides, obviously, because Google Slides usually use the same version no matter which browser you're on since it's cloud-based. But if you have a software for like PowerPoint and you're presenting on an outdated computer like a PowerPoint 2003 and you have the PowerPoint 2023 version, obviously it has 20 years apart, you're gonna definitely run into some incompatibility issues. So be sure you get that fixed so you don't have any technical issues during your presentations. Now, these are all the five do's and don'ts that I have for you guys in terms of your Google Slides and PowerPoint presentations. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys all in the next video.